We'll start. Hey, everybody. It's Kyle Wood. I am with Artemisa and Julie, our two ladies. I hope everybody is staying safe. And uh, we wanted to provide um, our clients with an update on uh, what's been taking place down here in uh, Puerto Penasco, what uh, uh, steps the local government is taking to help stop the spread of the coronavirus. Um, either Julie or uh, Artemisa, do either one of you want to start and, and give us kind of a rundown on, on what phase two is all about and what the uh, city government's uh, been doing? I know that they, they, uh, they started the lockdown of the city, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. I'll start a little bit and then if Julie or Julie, <laughs> you want to start? Um, I, I'm in Las Guanchas and I live here full time. So I'll just tell you guys a couple things that we've noticed here in Las Guanchas. Um, as you know, yes, they implemented a 24 hour lockdown and they also basically locked down the town where you need to prove residency in order to enter. Um, uh, some Americans have shown their permanent resident cards and their CFE bills and they're also telling people they're taking down your name, your address, phone number, car information, and they're asking you to quarantine for 14 days when you come into the city. Um, no one has been you know, checked on, so we don't know if they're gonna be checking on people, but the fact that they're asking for your phone number and address, so no one really knows about that. Um, Morning, everyone. Um, thank you for joining us this morning. I have some breaking news. I had to cut into this webcast that I edited last night. Um, we, uh, we got a, a notice from the Penasco city government, uh, President Kiko, Mayor Kiko of Puerto Penasco. Um, the city has put the, the uh, entrance to Puerto Penasco on complete lockdown. Um, the only way in or out of Penasco as of today, April 10th at 6 a.m., the only way in and out of Penasco is through Highway 8. Uh, the road to Caborca and the road to El Golfo have been permanently closed for an indefinite time frame. Um, anybody leaving the city and wanting to re-enter anybody, residents or uh, foreign nationals or visitors, anybody entering the city must be put into a 12-day isolation quarantine um, that is going to be set up at one of the local hotels. 12 days in isolation and it's mandatory. The checkpoint is going to be manned by the Mexican Navy who are going to conduct the interviews and the, uh, uh, the city police are going to be joining them. Um, the supply, they, they also say that the supply chain uh, will remain the same, meaning goods can come in and out. However, uh, any of those workers must wear masks, gloves, and glasses. Uh, so, um, again, um, if you were thinking about coming down, don't come down. You have to understand that uh, Penasco at this point in time does not have any reported cases of COVID-19, the coronavirus, and they want to keep it that way. Um, other parts of Mexico, the state of Sonora, they're really, particularly the state of Sonora is, is, is doing a, uh, uh, a terrific job in trying to prevent the spread of the virus throughout the uh, state of Sonora. Uh, the state of Sonora governor was on the right, news last night at around 10 9 o'clock last night, Arizona time, uh, issuing new parameters, new uh, 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 quarantine procedures that all residents uh, must, uh, must comply with. A couple other um, uh, quarantine issues that you should be aware of. Um, there is a 24-hour uh, curfew in place. You can leave to go do your shopping or pick up your pharmaceuticals, medicines, all the essential services. Um, most of the restaurants are closed. They're only allowing, um, uh, some of them only have 
um, uh, takeout or, or pickup delivery. Um, all of the hotels are closed. So yes, there may be residents there that live there full time, but no tourists, no visitors. Um, so they are, are uh, uh, closed, mandated, uh, required by the city. And also all of the beaches are closed. So if you're walking the beach down here and the authorities do see you, they will ask you to, to go home and, and isolate yourself. Um, our agent Julie was out running uh, the other day and she, uh, she was out in one of the local parks. The police asked her to go home. So uh, quite serious, uh, quite dramatic. Um, never thought we'd be seeing ourselves in these situations, but I really have to commend the president of Puerto Penasco, the mayor, Kiko, and the state governor of the state of Sonora uh, for the work that they've been doing to uh, prevent the spread of the coronavirus. We will keep you up to date uh, as uh, we receive that information, and I'll try to get it out as soon as possible. And uh, we just uh, want to keep um, all of our 3,000 um, viewers that we have on our Playa Sonora Realty webcast. We want to keep all 3,000 up to date on uh, what is taking place here in Puerto Penasco. Feel free to reach out to myself, uh, our agents, uh, Sandy, and my partner, Sandy, uh, Artie, and Julie, all of our various websites for additional information. If you are a client of theirs, please reach out. Uh, they are more than willing to answer any questions, help you check on your house, your condo, and uh, uh, keep you up posted and updated as to uh, what is taking place here at Puerto Penasco. Thank you very much for watching uh, us and, and keeping in touch. And you have a great day. Stay home and stay safe. Bye-bye.